my god. I am trying to sleep. Right, what's it gonna be? I'm gonna point out this guy's nipples, this guy's hair, or this guy's real damn thick back muscles. Joke's on you. I'm actually gonna mention my merch. Go ahead and buy a Denmark's Not Real Country hoodie right now. Link in the description. All right, what up, guys? It's me, Asara Productions. I originally wasn't really gonna plan to do much man the guns, but I kind of felt like it'd be a bit cheap if I didn't look at the Mexican and the Netherlands focus trees, which I guess I should probably do. All right, so today we're gonna be looking at the Mexican focus tree and how Paradox has made Mexico a fun place to be. Now, I am actually currently, in my own time, playing a little Iron Man game down here of my own in uh, Mexico, and as you see, it's going incredibly well. But joke's on you, what you're seeing right now is 5 million dead Americans are having a massive regret when they managed to push me down to the Mexican mountain range, only to realize that those weren't burritos and churros defending the mountains, that was 1 million angry Mexicans with guns. See you later, 5 million Americans. They also ended up in a civil war, somehow. I don't know, it's probably because I killed 5 million Americans and they thought we should probably do something about this, really. Yeah, we're also going to go mess around with the custom game rules, see if we can create a extra wacky and zany scenario for our Mexican muchachas. But yeah, if you guys want to see more Man the Guns that bad, feel free to leave a like and go ahead and spam the comment section right now with ISP looks like Trotsky and if 10 billion people tell me to play it, I guess I'll go ahead and play more. God damn Man the Guns. But I'll definitely do the Netherlands focus tree. How much more than that? I don't know. But either way, let's get into it. Yeah, Mexico's a great place, full of... Uh... Hmm... Mexicans! Yeah, I'm not gonna lie to you, I don't know much about Mexico, especially during World War II. So, um... This, this focus tree's definitely not helped me, considering there is so goddamn much of it, and it is everywhere. One thing I do know, though, is that in your focus tree, you are basically constantly attempting to just not blow up into a million different civil wars. Um, hopefully, doesn't doesn't go bad this time, though. Probably, probably will, though. Ah, Archbishop Pascual Diaz passes away, which, um... Burn in hell, apparently! Oh, not only has Trotsky arrived in my country, but I can also go ahead and just put him straight into government. And boy, do I want to, because he has 12 organization! There we go, just gonna whack Trotsky in control now as our chief of military staff. Hopefully he doesn't lead some sort of insurrection that's going to lead to us turning communist and taking over the entire of the Americas. Oh yeah, you know what I was saying about those civil wars. Well, I got one! And with that dealt with, we should have no other obstacles in our path. Except America. They are technically still an obstacle. Oh, you know, I was like messing around with all the uh, game rules. Oops. <sighs> Let's just get this over with, okay? I did the communist revolution. Trotsky's in control of Mexico. We've got this dumb flag. I look like Trotsky, alright? God damn, I can't help it! So once I get Trotsky, I merely just start justifying on these guys down here in Central America. Uh, you actually get free war goals on them later on for your focus tree, but it is so far down in the focus tree that I think I might actually fall asleep before we get there. Uh, I wasn't really keeping an eye on what's going on in our horrible world we've created, but um, pray and join the Axis. <laughs> God, that's fine though. I'm just gonna stick to my safe place down here in South America where the the bad feelings and thoughts can't touch me Yeah, I don't know why people always say like it's so horrible fighting down in South America The supply so bad the terrain is horrendous. It's just it's so fun Every nation I take over is honestly one step closer to me just jumping off a ledge now your focus tree, you actually get something that turns all South American countries communist over time, and if you have enough relations with them, you can just invite them to your alliance, which um, they always seem to say yes to, they never seem to say no to. Oh god, election to get rid of Trotsky? Damn! No, we can't let that happen! wish we could though. So if the news ever breaks that my body was never found because I jumped inside of a volcano of my own volition, it, this war right here is to blame, okay? Um, this right here. Sure is fun just fighting through the Amazon. <laughs> Honestly, just shoot me. Uh, so while I was in Brazil, it appears I seem to have missed something on a global scale here. Just a little bit. Okay, after Bolivia, we're not invading anyone else in South America. I literally can't handle this anymore. I, I, I'm losing brain cells every minute. Although saying that, that's a heck of a lot of tungsten. The Japanese People's Republic wants to resupply their ships. What the hell's going on in Japan? 
Okay, I, I'm just not looking at Asia anymore. So about two billion years later, we finally get our focus to attack America. Yay. Well, Great Britain's doing their focuses now to get civil wars happening in all the ex-Commonwealth countries, which is just the most cursed flags in the world. Ah, I wasn't really expecting them to win that easy. Uh, well, I got like a billion Mexicans on the border. Hopefully I'm going to be able to recreate what I did in my Iron Man game, which is just letting them grind up on me and killing all their manpower, which... Yep, that's that's what the AI is doing. Ah, oh, it's been two days. Already killed 226,000. Now we just get to sit back, relax, and tab back in the game in about half an hour. Oh, never mind. I'm going to have to tab in early because Great Britain decided to go to war with America. So I'm going to have to actually make a push for this now. God damn it. You also get a focus that gives you cores back on all the Mexican land that you lost to the Americans in 1840, whatever, which is cool I suppose especially since hopefully that's the land I'm actually gonna be able to keep just everything about Britain's front line right now is really really triggering me also you know just the general fact they declared war in America is not that great either but let's see what land we get out of this well it's not the worst completely <laughs> it's, it's, it's pretty damn bad though so bring us a focus if they want to ally with germany to have italy isolated from the axis which i'm pretty sure means we can go ahead and declare war on them and since i took corsica from france who was still alive and in the war of america for some reason i think that's going to be our next step just going to uh need to make a bit of preparation beforehand though oh my god our super heavy tank looks like it was literally birthed from chernobyl jesus christ right well it's our time to invade italy and hopefully they don't join the axis which yeah it doesn't seem like they are i've got my subs patrolling all around their country which if you don't know about subs in this newest patch of dlc they are completely invisible to all enemies well done paradox clap in the chat now weirdly enough i've noticed that subs don't really engage much with big ships anymore but uh this time around i'm actually starting to sink parts of italy's navy which uh that's pretty decent uh, i've also started just naval bombing them with my tack bombers too now and i am i'm definitely putting the spaghetti to the bottom of the sea which is not a real phrase i just made that up okay simply just from raiding convoys and tack bombing their naval ships look how many casualties the italians have taken this has not been from any land combat other than me taking sardinia this is absolutely ridiculous who would win? 24 Mexican divisions are away from their country with some of the somewhat state-of-the-art equipment or like 300 Italian divisions that just can't get onto the island. So yeah, this template I'm using is absolutely demolishing them. It's two motorized artillery, two artillery, and two Amtraks. The Amtraks are the motorized marine divisions kind of thing. Uh, they do count as special forces, which is why I can't use a lot of them, but they are a godsend. They're actually light marines, but better. Not only are they mechanized, but they, they also have a better river crossing better or whatever. It's great. Just use them if you can. Oh my god, I'm literally just destroying the Italians with my 24 divisions of these guys. And they're, they're not even like that great of a template, but they are just shredding them. I mean, it's, it's combined with my air force too, but <laughs> Jesus Christ. Italy has like 300 to 400 divisions. I killed 1.6 million Italians. I've lost 124k. Like, damn, it's ridiculous. These divisions cannot be stopped. It's absolutely amazing. Oh, I guess I'll just take all of Italy then. Um, I'm, I'm not going to puppet them or anything because Britain still has a war goal on them and I'm uh, pretty scared they'll attack me. Yeah, I'm not going to lie to you. I originally was going to go take out the Soviets, but um, th yeah, the, the Soviets don't exist and haven't existed for like pff, seven years now. So <laughs> we need to think of something else to do. Here you go. I'll just go ahead and invade Switzerland. So let's, see, let's see how good my division's doing the mountains. Uh, yeah, they're... Um, they're doing all right, I'd have to say. <laughs> this is mountains, for God's sake. Oh, wait a second. I've got Trotsky. I get the minus 50% subversive activities cast. I can just coup everyone. Uh, okay, yeah, I was not expecting that coup to explode into whatever the hell this is. That's actually a really big, big nation. Uh, usually, they're, they're quite small, but this is... They've got 159 division. There you go. We'll just throw one down in Great Britain too. We'll invite them to our faction as well. And we'll, we'll see what comes of this. Uh, I, I have no idea how this is going to go. But um, 
Oh my god, they got so many divisions. Yeah, things things got a little confusing uh, after that. Um, th th they ended up doing all right, though, the uh, Socialist Republic of Germany. I had to do a reload at some point, so I'm not entirely sure where I last recorded was. Um, I've been playing for way too long now. I've, I've been playing this game for like two days now, and it's 1950, so you can understand why I'm probably a little bit hazy on where the hell I've, I've left anything off, but... Um, we're probably going to leave it here now. Uh, there's not really much else I can do. I had my fun. Uh, Mexico is actually a pretty damn good game to play, I'd have to say. Uh, if, you, if you do want to try it, go ahead and try it. Amanda Guns is now out for everybody. And like I said, I will do the Netherlands 100%. But I'm not entirely sure if there'll be more Amanda Guns content to come. But guys, thank you very much for watching. If you want to see any more type of stuff like this. Or any better ideas that you, you might think I haven't done. But I have done so much work for on this channel. I've probably already done it. Then leave a comment down below. Let me know what you want, want me to do. Or maybe there's something specific. If you want me to explain him and the guns. I can maybe do that on my second channel. But either way, guys, if you enjoyed this video, leave a like and subscribe button. And I'll see you all next. I also need an end screen, by the way. If someone, for the love of God, make me an end screen and send it me on Twitter. I will suck your 